everyone, Basil Chapman. This is the Tiger Financial News Network, 11 a.m. stock market update. We're looking at the Dow down, oh, now it's only down eight points at 34,147. Earlier in the day, it was down at the 33,807 level. 300 point comeback, that's really good. Oh, let's have end of the month buying are going from Friday afternoon into Monday. That'll be fantastic. We need that. This is going to be very important. And I'll just tell you that um, <clears throat> the S&P has also come back very nicely. Uh, we've got the S&P at 4345, close to the high of the day, actually, um, at up 19. That's going to be important if the S&P is able to start uh, have a little sideways consolidation a little later on and then push towards the uh, 43. Wow, that's a lot. But it, it, it does it these days. It's had 1,000-point moves in the Dow and 100-point uh, moves in the S&P. So if it's able to get and hold at 43.55, maybe 40, yeah, somewhere around there, I think buying could start to come in. Uh, if you're looking at the QQQ down, uh, now it's turned up good, up 3.38 at 344.52, made a lower lower than yesterday. Trying to rally right here. Uh, this is going to be very important because it needs to get to the 353 or higher level by in the next couple of days. So it's lagging somewhat in the chart pattern, but we'll see what happens. It must not go to the low of the day today. Looking at the IWM, has that turned positive? No, it's still very weak. Uh, Russell 2000 minus 140, 150 at 190.07. What is interesting, let's see where gold is. Oh, gold is worse. It's down 11 points now at 1783. It really has to hold the 1778 level. Otherwise, there's a big problem. The, the, the dollar is doing very well. It's got a doji candle. It's up four ticks at 97.28. In leg D, broke out uh, in the daily and the weekly. The monthly chart says leg C. We'll watch this closely for next week's action. We're looking at the TLT. Has the TLT turned around? us oh, down 28 cents at 142.80. It's really struggling. Uh, you'd normally you'd see money come out of the weakness of stocks into the safety of bonds. You're not really seeing that yet. And I was mentioning in my show the target conditions are. This is really important for yields. We're going to be watching yields closely next week. Crude oil doing very well. But pulling back from the day's high, we'll see if there's a little bit of a dip because natural gas has actually had a very nice move up today. It's up 10% at up 44 cents and 4.72. So um, I'm signing up for now. You're going to go over to Larry Preservento. Check out my opening call. And if you sign up for my opening call, you'll be able to be part of my uh, video overview tomorrow. That's going to be very extensive, very in detail about stocks and everything what we're looking at for this first three months of the year and for the rest of the year. Have a wonderful weekend, and for those of you in the Northeast,